Hey guys, so it is finally here, my most highly requested video. It's finally, finally up and I'm so glad to show you guys my wash routine. So I began by pinning her hair up because I do use a wash cap on her hair. This wash cap is available on my website, taylorbeautyproducts.com. And what I love about this wash cap is that it works as a barrier between the water and the soap in her hair. And it makes washing an absolute breeze. So once I've had her hair all pinned up, I just give it one good rinse. That's all I need to begin my wash process. As you can see, she absolutely loves this part. So I'm beginning with the Taylor Beauty Shampoo and you guys have asked me so many times, what do you use to wash her hair? My shampoo is finally available. It's taken me two years to create this. It's moisturizing and it contains coconut oil and aloe vera juice. It restores the hair's natural pH. So I use about three pumps on her hair and that's all I need. This shampoo is very gentle. It doesn't contain any parabens or sulfates. And my washing routine is a little bit different um, because when I wash her hair, when I wash in her scalp, I like to use the balls of my fingers rather than my nails. Um, just because I don't want to cause any breakage at the scalp or at the roots. And then when I get towards the end, I like to scrub the hair in a downwards motion. Now, the reason why I like to scrub her hair in a downwards motion is because her hair has a lot of buildup. In the past, I was washing her hair once a week, but now that she's three years old and her hair is getting so much longer, I'm washing it every two weeks, and my the hairstyle that I usually do is the mini twist. So there's a lot of buildup, and I just like to scrub it in a downwards motion. Now, this doesn't cause any tangles at all doing it this way. I just find that it just gets really, really clean when I scrub it this way. And you want to be really gentle. Just think about how you would feel if it was your hair. As you can see, she's not crying. She's having a good time. She's playing with her toys. And she enjoys wash day just as much as I do. If your child is giving you a hard time during wash day, I guarantee if you try these tips, it'll make wash day so much better. Okay, so now it's time to rinse. I give her one rinse in between her wash. Depending on how much buildup she has, I do two or three washes. But today I only went for two washes because her hair was pretty clean. As you can see, her hair is clean. It has a lot of shine. And the thing I also love about my shampoo is that it is moisturizing so it doesn't dry out your hair. So now I am back to scrubbing. And I want to say I started this when um, her hair was about ponytail length. Um, in the past, I just washed it one. When I was washing it once a week, I was only washing it one time and conditioning it. And I'm just going through to make sure I've got every piece of her hair. And as you can see, there's soap anywhere above the wash cap and anything below the wash cap, there's no soap or water. So this works as a great, great barrier. So now I'm back to rinsing and since this is my last wash, I'm going to rinse about three times before I begin my conditioning process. So I follow up with the Taylor Beauty Coconut Cream Conditioner. This conditioner contains mango butter, coconut oil, so it is extremely moisturizing. It is great for a conditioner or a deep condition. Today I am going to do a, I guess I'll call it a deep condition um, because I let this sit in her hair for about 10 minutes and you'll see why it sat on her hair so, for so long. Um, but what I like to do is I like to add her conditioner in sections. As you can see, um, I'm just working it into sections. I like to do four sections at a time, and I use about three pumps. I am very, very generous with this conditioner. Um, if you don't do anything, make sure you condition your child's hair. It is so important 
to put conditioner in your child's hair. I don't I can't express how many moms have told me they don't use conditioner and this is a crucial part of your wash process and I'm going to show you why. So as you can see, I've already did it in four sections and I'm going to show you why conditioning is a crucial part of any wash routine because the detangling. Now, as you can see, I begin detangling the hair from the ends and I work my way to the roots. Now, that's why it took me so long to condition her hair um, because I work very, very slow and I do not use combs on her hair outside of wash day. I've said that so many times. This is the secret to keeping her hair long is really detangling very well during the wash day so that I don't have to use any combs in between. This conditioner does contain a lot of slip, so the comb just basically glides through the hair. As you can see, she's not screaming or crying, and it just makes wash day such a good process. Her hair is now moisturized and detangled, so it's going to be so much easier for me to work when I style her hair. Now I'm just wiping off any excess residue that I may have missed underneath the cap. And here is the final result. Her hair is clean, it's shiny, it's detangled, and it is ready for her next hairstyle. Make sure you follow Little Summer Erin on Instagram. We have a lot of cute hairstyles for kids. And thanks for watching.